High School is heightening security this homecoming weekend, two days after a shooting just a few blocks away. Madison police have arrested a 21-year-old man believed to be the shooter, as well as a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old La Follette student in connection with that shooting. Rochemont is live at La Follette High School to tell us what security measures the school is taking. Well, after two shootings within seven days near La Follette High School here, police say that they feel like they need to take some action. And school administrators plan to have extra police officers near the area here for tonight's homecoming game. They say they're not anticipating any problems. They're just taking precautions. This came together within the last 18 hours. The start to the school day was a bit sweeter Friday. We have tables piled with donuts and cookies and anything. Sherry Neal and other La Follette High School parents connected on social media. We all decided that today would be a great day to celebrate our kids. But celebration comes after a long week. For this to hit the La Follette community two times in seven days um, is tough. It's a tough for any school to bear. Madison police have arrested three people in connection with a shooting that happened Wednesday morning in the neighborhood near the high school. So what we know is that there were two groups and they had prearranged to meet in this location for a fight. And again, uh, someone made the decision to bring a handgun. Police say they haven't recovered that handgun, but it was used to fire three to five shots, one of them hitting a 16-year-old La Follette student. That student then came back toward the school, and the officer stationed there acted as a first responder. And the ERO was critical in helping coordinate getting the fire, um, fire rescue there. Um, fortunately, it was just the, um, a minor injury. Neighbors have said there are regular fights near La Follette, and school administrators say they're looking into it. Over the years, it's, there's been issues, um, as with many schools that are around neighborhoods. There will be community meetings with neighbors and parents trying to work toward finding solutions. I think people who are hiding and thinking that things are going to be just okay and this will blow over don't realize how quickly your child can be gone. You've got to do something. All students had to go through metal detector wands this morning, and the students asked for those wands to also be used tomorrow night for the homecoming dance, and they plan to have extra security measures there tomorrow as well. Back All to right. you. All right, thank you, Rose.